Hello my lovely people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Jen, this is the first time you'll see me, thank you so much for stopping by my return subscribers from here to you, I love it, so my people, I'm not feeling well today, <clears throat> I'm not feeling well today, thank God I'm off, so I am in here, <coughs> As hot as it is inside this house, I'm cold. I have my tea. My ginger, my everything. <clears throat> but I'm going to be fine. I just want to do this video that I saw. I saw this uh, this man that you are looking at on a legit TV. You can go and watch this video. It is such an amazing video in legit TV. <clears throat> So this man that you are looking at uh, finished school because there's no job in Nigeria. Everybody, if you're a Nigerian, you know that there's no job in Nigeria. So a friend of his introduced him to somebody that could rent a, give him a car in a, you see, high purchase. Uh, the way I understood what that means is they give you, um, they will give you a car and you, they tell you how much the car will be and they tell you how much you'll be paying weekly or monthly and how long it will take you to finish paying for it and when you're done paying for it, the car becomes yours. That's what that high purchase. If there's anything wrong, please correct me in the comment section. Please watch this video <clears throat> to the end and give it a thumbs up so that people can share it. I'm begging you guys. That's the only way YouTube will share a video. <coughs> I'm sorry guys. Share it because I'm sick. I'm, I'm using the, <coughs> I'm using this sickness to make the video. So my lovely people. So the man that you're looking at uh got this guy that gave him a car for three point they say it's three point five million naira. And he's supposed to be paying uh, he's supposed to pay it off in two years. So they made the arrangement, the man is supposed to be paying him 30,000 every week, 3, 6, 9, 12, 30, 60, 90, 120,000 every month. So the man who started working, using the car and doing, paying and did not even miss one day. And the amount to pay this car off for it to be his is 3.5 million and he already paid 2.6 million remaining 900,000 he has he said he was supposed to be this November for for the thing to be paid off okay so one day the man they said I think he said after um, a year plus or something the man called him to bring the car so he can check the car and, and see if everything is running okay with the car so he went thinking nothing the man looked at the car and said okay you're taking care of the car well all right and you have not missed any payment okay go ahead so the boy left <clears throat> thinking nothing on his way going home from that trip he had a very fatal accident very very bad accident and thank god nothing happened to him and he has a family um, a wife and uh, three children <clears throat> so when he couldn't nothing happened to him so he called the man the same night and told the man oga <clears throat> I had accident. This, this, this. What happened? So the man, the man said the same night after the man called him to come to his house and bring the car so that he can check and make sure, inspect the car, make sure that the car was okay. On his way going home, he had this accident that almost took his life. So when he called the man and said. Uh, oh God, look at the car had accident. The, oh, the man said, okay, tow the car from where he had accident to so, so, so. He did so. And after he did so, 
The man said, bring the key. He brought the key. And the man said, okay, now uh, I have the key in my possession. Uh, you can now go. I don't want to give you the car anymore. The man started crying. The man started pleading. The man started asking him, why? The man started <coughs> asking him, why? He, he said he doesn't want to give it to him anymore. The man pleaded. The man called the person that introduced him to him and said, this is what the man is saying. I don't know what to do. Okay, let me carry the car. Go fix it. They said, how much will it take for, to fix the car? It will cost up to up to three to 400000 to fix it. He said, let me go and fix the car. And uh, find a way, find the money and fix the car. The man said, no. I don't want to give you the car anymore. And from this driving is the place the man is getting money to pay the the children's school school fees and the wife the wife just had a baby four months ago the man refused everybody has called him everybody has pleaded with him he refused and he's not refusing because uh the boy did anything wrong the boy did not do anything wrong so not come to find out after the question the woman was asking him he finally said oh i went there the last time i went there he has given the car to another person he has given this car that this boy has almost paid off to another person didn't even listen to the boy he collected 2.6 million from this boy from this man <clears throat> and collected the car because the car had accident he collected the car from when he called the boy to bring the car to come so he can inspect the car in inspecting the car the boy going home had accident so people are saying uh, that this is fetish show how come all this time they might it, it might not be but the, for the fact that this man gave the car to somebody else who so didn't even give him the chance of the day it might not be the first time that this man is doing this he might be using the same car and be dragging and be giving people and be making money out of people when you are almost done with it they will, they will find something or throw accident on you so that because that's no reason that this man nothing has happened all this time and as soon as the owner of this car called this happened so people are even in nigeria because people in nigeria they are too some of them are too fetish so this video too much distraction is on this video but the bottom line oh, <clears throat> after the man called and inspected the car and on the way going back that happened that accident so people people are saying that it was the man <clears throat> that put that accident so that he can take the car from him because now he knows that the car is almost paid off and he knows that the the man has not defaulted in not even one one month so he decided to just do it this way who knows how many people that he has done it to but the one thing that this video is good the man's face is showing people might know uh him and might come across to him and then help him out. God, God is about to open up uh, uh, a warm and blessing, a warm, a warm of blessing through legit TV to bless this guy. So they asked him, what would you like to do? He said he would like to uh, continue what he's doing. Somebody else can help him out and give him a car to drive on high purchase or however, however, just help him. That's the only way he's paying his children's school fees. That's the only way that they are feeding, that their children has been sent out of school now for three weeks that they have not gone to school. So the man, um, the man is really, really, really not uh, happy about what is going on. He's pleading with people to please help me out. I don't know what to do. Please, if you can go to Legit TV, anything that you can do to help him out, um, 
you will be i know he will appreciate it but i can bet you with every penny i have that that man for him to take the car and refuse to give even after she he said uh, let me go and fix the car uh, go find money fix the car and and pay you your money off the man refused that means he's been doing this that means he's using this car he's using this car to rip people off and the people that do this eh i swear people that do this they will never never see anything good people that do this the next accident will happen mm. the, the, so that he will not be there they rip people off they take people's hard earned money <clears throat> so my lovely people when i saw that i said lord god almighty buhari did not do this one this wickedness that our people do on themselves is something that i really don't know how to make of it wickedness that you put on yourself wickedness that you put on your people wickedness that i don't understand it if for nothing else they said now they call his number he doesn't answer anymore they said no matter what he's not answering the wife is not as how, how will he answer your wife if he didn't answer you that he gave a car why will he answer your wife he has <coughs> he has nothing to do with you with your wife so i come here my brothers and my sisters to let us know uh, money is not everything don't sell your soul to to the devil don't sell because this car now that this man took away from from him in one way it will be a blessing because for being in legit tv people will help him and this man don't know where he has just put his hand if he has family members he has just soiled his hand in whatever it is and when something start attacking their uh, his own family they will start crying oh we don't know what happened oh i am very very sorry no you are not sorry because what goes around comes around uh karma is b-i-t-c-h it does not it, it does not doesn't matter so my people let us stop being wicked to to each other let us start showing some kindness to people that are suffering because if you don't show kindness to people that are suffering karma has a way of coming around and kicking you behind so my lovely people i saw that video i said let me come and encourage you to please go to legit tv and hear that and hear that kind of wickedness from this man that owes 3.5 million paid 2.6 2.6 million 2.6 how wicked the big no no how wicked can this be if the man didn't have a bad intention he wouldn't have given the car to somebody else he would not have given the car to somebody else but that's exactly what he did that is really really sad it makes me want to cry it makes me shed tears about what our people are doing to their own people very sad so my lovely people i saw that story i said let me come here and give you guys this story and let you just go to my comment section and tell me what you think about it and if there's any way that you can help go to legit tv is it 100 naira is it a um a 50 naira is it one dollar two dollar anything that you can do to help this man to help him he's a very 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 good man that never defaulted for one day and he said payment for this car but this man just ripped it off his hand for no reason so my lovely people i saw that i thought i come and use this sickness that is bothering me to come and talk to you guys from me to you i love you thank you so much for watching Bye bye